Ain't no party like a format party because a format party features a 30-foot microphone cord. Good morning, Hank. It's Tuesday. Today's video is like the chambers of the human heart. It comes to you in four parts. By the way, I need one normal shot so that when people look at the thumbnail, they think it's a normal video, and then I trick them, and it's a format. But right, part one. Hank, do you know what this is? It's the Maternal Center of Excellence, a massive extension to Sierra Leone's Koidu Government Hospital, funded primarily by Nerdfighteria. That building at the top left of the picture is a maternity ward that will open this year. Incredible. The MCOE is not a symbol of hope. It's an activation of hope. Like, I realize that we don't have a word in English for when hope is realized, which is pretty telling, but that's how I feel right now. All right, let's get a quick check of the weather. It's hot. It's just absolutely disgusting. It feels like I'm taking a bath, but the bath is made out of wet air. I hate it. I spent half my life gathering up this 30-foot microphone cord, and the other half I wasted. Part two, my current favorite tuberculosis fact comes from rereading this book, Living in the Shadow of Death, which only appears to be the third album by an obscure heavy metal band. Anyway, in this book, the author talks about how in 1852, when Franklin Pierce was elected president of the United States, his wife was sick with tuberculosis. His secretary of state was mourning his son, who'd just died of tuberculosis, and his vice president was in Cuba trying to cure his tuberculosis. Also, Franklin Pierce probably had tuberculosis, but he drank himself to death before the TB could get him. And this isn't like ancient history. This was two human lifetimes ago. The idea that anyone is insulated from tuberculosis is so recent. We act like everything is stable and normal and just as it should be and always has been, but that's just a lie. So much is so new, which is actually encouraging to me because it means, you know, we can change it. Part three, I know sometimes it seems like I only think about tuberculosis, but I do think about other things like how frequently the the fast casual restaurant chain Panera is mentioned in hip hop lyrics lately. I know, right? Oh my God, where'd you come from? Oh, I've uh, I've been here the whole time. Well, can can you can you go away? That was easy. Like, I first noticed this in a prof song called Pack a Lunch, where Red Man says, I wine and dine at Panera. And then, like, a couple weeks later, I was listening to a Young Gravy song where he mentions Panera. And in that case, it's like he says, like, uh pull up to Panera just to play a little footsie. He doesn't even have to say Panera. It's not even part of the rhyme. He could have said Fazoli's or Oh Charlie's, but he chose Panera. And that got me thinking. But then it turns out that a lot of rappers are talking about Panera, like Lil Uzi Vert, yes. Rick Ross, Lil Yachty, the list goes on and on. At some point I started to wonder, like, is Panera paying rappers to name drop Panera? But I don't think it's that. I think it's that the word Panera is just inherently melodic. All right, part four. Oh no, we have to go outside for part four. Look at all these peppers I grew from seeds in my bathtub that are now real proper pepper plants. We've got habaneros and cayennes and sweet peppers and everything in between. We've harvested over a hundred so far, but still have more than a thousand growing, which is great news for my mom and I's annual hot sauce. I'm making some weird experimental hot sauces with the early peppers, and then we'll make our traditional family hot sauce later in the year. Hold on, I'll show you the best part. The best part is burping them because they're fermenting. Here's a little ASMR. Anyway, every year we name our family hot sauce. Last year it was called Societal Collapses in the Air because that's something Timothy Chalamet said during a press junket. But we don't know what to call it this year. So if you have any suggestions, let me know in comments. What we're trying to communicate is, you know, this is going to be hot, but it's also going to be fun. Kind of like August in Indiana. Hank, I'll see you on Friday.